Hi, I'm Laura with Red Desert Violin, and this is the first in a series of three video tutorials to teach you my version of the Orange Blossom Special. In this video, we're just going to focus on the left hand and kind of work on some coordination issues that are going on in the left hand. Um, I've got tape on my fingerboard to help you be able to see exactly what the notes are that I'm playing. Whether or not you use tape doesn't really matter all that much. Um, but the tapes, if we're talking about, say, the, the D string, we've got the tape on E natural, F sharp, and G natural. And then if we're talking about the G string, we've got the tape on A, B, and C natural. So there's a whole step here and a half step there, okay? Of course, Orange Blossom Special is in the key of A major, which has three sharps, so some of my fingers are going to be off the tape, but I'll, I'll let you know uh, what notes those should be, okay? So, the main issue with Orange Blossom Special is getting the, third, the left hand to be able to do this alternating motion, this th one, three, two, four motion. And the main trick that, if you can keep this trick in mind, it's going to help you a lot, is you don't need to lift your first and third finger most of the time. Uh, so once you get your first and third finger in place, leave them there and just work on getting two and four working together. Okay? So a good exercise is to hold your violin in guitar style. Let me back this up a little bit. Hold your violin guitar style and find the note first finger E on the D string and third finger C sharp on the G string. Okay, That's where Orange Blossom Special starts when you start it on the fast part and so this is where we'll start working on it. Okay, Leave those fingers glued down. One on the D string, three on the G string. Now what you got to remember is that 1 and 2 are going to be on the D string and 3 and 4 are going to be on the G string. That will help you keep things sorted out, okay? So let's get back to our first finger on the D string and our C sharp on the G string. Now we're going to work on getting second finger activating on the D string. That's F sharp. You're playing E, F sharp, E, F sharp, and get kind of good at that. Make sure that you're not accidentally lifting one and three. Okay, and then that's a whole step. One and two is a whole step. When you start using your fourth finger, it's going to be a half step. That's what's tricky is that you've got a, a whole step here and a half step there and you're trying to keep these guys glued and these guys lifting so there's a lot of coordination um, issues going on but if you can see I'm doing a whole step and a half step then I'm gonna lift them up together and the more together you can get these guys to work the better your orange blossom is gonna be some people Ha lift this finger first and then the fourth finger is a little late. And that's normal, but you just got to work on it until they can or until they're coordinated together. Okay? And then if you want to play the next little spot in Orange Blossom Special, it's the same pattern. It's just over one string. So first finger would be on the A string, third finger would be on the D string above the tape. So we're on the note B, and we're on the note G sharp, and they stay glued for a while. And then you do the whole step, second finger on the A string, third finger, uh, sorry, fourth finger on the D string. Keeping one and three glued down, and trying to activate two and four really together in one motion and making sure you've got a whole step with the second finger and a half step with the fourth finger. That's all there is to the left hand issue. Then I would take my bow. Once you get good at that, at doing that in guitar style, you can do this in front of the TV if you want to. Um, once you get really good at activating that 
two and four against the one and three, then you're ready to put the bow on it. So I'm going to go ahead and play this exercise on the G string and the D string, the, the, the place where we started this video. So first finger on D and third finger on G. And we're just going to practice making the sounds now. So we're going to play. <laughs> was a little out of tune the first couple times I played it and I fished around and adjusted a little bit until I found my spot. Then I'm going to drop my hand, shake it out a little bit, and I'm going to try that again. Get my one and three and we're going to try it again. And just noodle around and that's just checking your intonation. The real work happens when you in step one when you were just trying to get that coordination going. That's really all there is to it for the left hand. Okay, tune in for video two where we'll dig into the right hand exercises and I'll see you in the next video.